Hey guys, so here I have the Mattel Matchbox Dino Transporters. So here you've got four items in this series. Two which are more reminding of the Lost World Jurassic Park and two which are clearly Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So well, I'll start with this one, the Tricera Tracker. So as you can see in this item, you've got an in-gen kind of Humvee vehicle with a cage and a Triceratops. This one is like the mini version, but you don't have any articulation and the eyes aren't painted. The packaging is really cool with the volcano and the cage. Here you can see a bit more infos. Then we've got the second vehicle reminding of the Lost World with another kind of Humvee from InGen with a T-Rex this time. So same here. We have the articulation of the mandible though, which is cool. Again, more infos at the back. Then we have the first one, which is reminding of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the Raptor Copter. So as you can see, you've got clothes here that you can apparently remove with blue. So no articulation on the legs, the eyes unpainted, but at least you've got the blue on its back. The die cast is really nice. I can't wait to open it. And well, at the back, more infos as well. And then we have the T-Rex tracker, which is really awesome. The track really reminds of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which is cool. And you've got the same T-Rex as in the other pack. A very nice vehicle and quite big. So as you can see, you can open the cage. So well, let's open them. Okay, so here they are. I'll start with the Tricera Tracker. So well, as you can see, the mini dinosaur is really amazing. No articulation and the eyes unpainted, but still one of the best small Triceratops ever made. So it's really amazing. Then we have the first truck. So it's some kind of hinge and Humvee, which is super nice. You can see the logo here. We've got, of course, the green color. And then you've got the cage. So actually you open it this way and to capture the dinosaur, just press it like that. So a very cool die cast. Then we have the, um, well, Tyranno holder. So well, the T-Rex has its articulation here. No ice painted, it's in soft plastic though, like softer than the regular mini ones, but a very nice dinosaur as well. And then the truck is really badass. You've got the cage around it, the InGen logo. So really cool. And well, the clothes you just have to press on the side like that. And you can actually remove them and you have a pretty cool kind of Humvee. And then we have the two die that are really reminding of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The first one is the Raptor Copter. So you've got blue with it. And actually, if you carefully look, it's a different design from the mini one in the main line. No articulation and no ice painted. But well, a really cool dinosaur. Then you've got the clothes here. So of course you can open the hand clothes like this. You can also remove them to place the helicopter this way. Of course you've got these parts moving. It's quite heavy and I really like the design of it. It's really, really nice. And then the last one we have is, of course, the T-Rex trailer. Just like in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I really love it. So, well, you can open at the back here, remove the T-Rex. So it's the same one as in the other set. And then you've got the truck itself, which is really cool. So the cage open and closes this way. Quite nice. And well, actually, I'm super glad they've been making these. Very reminiscent of the one from the 90s. I'm really in love with them. So well, if you have any questions or requests about these awesome Dino Trackers diecast by Mattel and Matchbox, don't hesitate to contact me on my pages. 